sometimes I still go to a class or something agogic, but but what's that? Well, then we said agogish in German or agogic in French or agogica in Greek and so on. It's the freedom within the bar. And that awareness also came to us through Weiner. Because if you look in the um, dictionary, then you find that, that uh, agogic is uh, the need to stress certain notes because of harmonic or melodic importance. Right. But that means it, it becomes longer. But that length has to be uh, recaptured within the bar. Not if within you don't, the phrase. Can you do it over a long rubato. Hmm? Within the phrase is rubato. Yes. So actually, rubato within the bar is agogic. Yes. Now, that's not written in the music. And that's what determines the differences in the myriads of possibilities of playing a piece of music. However, the limit is very small. Because if you play it a little longer and then you immediately come back in tempo, then you're cheating the bar. So that's the music making aspect, the most important thing, because we haven't, uh, how often you face with a student who has great imagination and loves every note what he's playing and loves something to death. Hmm. And then the rest of it, the balance is completely destroyed. Yeah. But it's so nice that note that nicely vibrated and everything else. And you go out of your mind, right? Yeah. <laughs> but there's an artistic sense which has to do with proportion. Yeah. Right. How do you balance? Well, this proportion is what uh, we try to teach them so as to become aware of it. Yeah. Some will never. Ever, any wonderful idea, if it's not in the right proportion, becomes a distortion. Yeah. So. so, as sometimes I describe it, that you cannot make music so like you smear your face with lots of lipstick. <laughs> Just a little bit of lipstick enhances the thing. It's the same kind of thing that... Uh, uh, my favorite topic of not to vibrate every note the same way. Because there are those who have overtones and the overtone sounds supposed to be less vibrated. But the dead notes supposed to be more vibrated. But there again, balance. Mm. And, and our job is to try to bug the, the hell out of them mm. until they become aware of it that it's important. And then there are those who never become aware, but because of their sort of uh, personality, charisma or whatnot, they get away with it. By aware... By the expression, filth, musical filth. But uh, the uh, audience is basically not consist of trained musicians. And if, uh, as we used to say, if there is an audience of 2,000 and there are 15 who understands what the hell we're really trying to do, then we are ahead in the game. <laughs>